Hi, I'm Kendra from Apocalypse Booked. This is my first booktube episode, so I would like to introduce myself and what I plan on doing with my booktube channel before rolling right on into a sampler of what is to come. I'm Kendra. I blog at apocalypsebook.com where I post book reviews and other fun book-related posts. My favorite book genres are science fiction and fantasy. I decided to make a booktube channel because it seemed like a lot of fun and I wanted to do something that I wasn't necessarily able to do with just my book blog. On my channel I want to do something that I haven't really seen a lot around booktube. I want to pair video games with books. I want to introduce a video game that I absolutely loved and give book recommendations based on that video game. I will then give a book review about some of those recommendations so that you can get a little taste of what that book is about. Without further ado, I will give a sample of what I'll be doing from here on out with The Wolf Among Us by Telltale Games. The Wolf Among Us is a decision-based video game where you play as Big B Wolf, the sheriff of Fable Town. Every decision you make affects gameplay in this gritty yet colorful noir video game. The criteria I looked for when looking for books like The Wolf Among Us were Urban Fantasy, Crime Detective, Where Lead, and Fairy Tale Retelling. Here are six book recommendations for The Wolf Among Us. Number six, Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce. Sisters Red is a fairy tale retelling urban fantasy starring two sisters, Scarlet and Rosie. The sisters are werewolf hunters, though one of them doesn't really want to live the hunting life anymore and wants to go off and have her own life separate from it. Number five, Horns by Joe Hill. Horns is an urban fantasy mystery thriller that's just been recently made into a movie with Daniel Radcliffe. Ig has been thrust into this world of fantasy with a pair of horns starting growing out of his head after his beloved was br brutally murdered. 4. Moon Called by Patricia Briggs. Moon Called is a paranormal romance urban fantasy featuring Mercy who is a were coyote. Mercy is stuck between two worlds, our world and the fantasy world. Number three, The Last Werewolf by Glenn Duncan. The first of the Bloodlines trilogy, The Last Werewolf, uh, features a were lead, obviously, and is an urban fantasy. Jake is a lot like Big B in that in their despondency and the fact that while Jake is monstrous, he's still trying to find the humanity within. Number two, Royal Street by Suzanne Johnson. This one is actually the closest I could find to The Wolf Among Us. It's an urban fantasy crime detective. And the main character is even in charge of protecting the normals from the supernatural world. The only difference is actually a pretty cool one. It's based in New Orleans, so there's this voodoo aspect to the murders, which is incredibly fascinating. And finally, number one, Monster by Ailey Martinez. Monster is a funny urban fantasy and the topic of my book review for this episode. Monster runs a supernatural pest control company where a normal day is having to fish out a Yeti from a supermarket freezer. Martinez has a way of handling humor where you wouldn't be able to say that the book is necessarily a comedy, but you couldn't say that you weren't laughing the whole time. An interesting aspect to Monster is that usually when you read this, this type of paranormal fiction, the main character is going to be a detective of some sort, or maybe they're in charge of policing the supernaturals, but instead you basically get the janitorial services of the paranormal world with Monster. One of the things I did not like about Monster was that I wasn't really able to connect with him as a character. From the very beginning, I felt myself distancing from him and his journey. While with Bigby, I felt for that... <laughs> I felt for that werewolf very early on, and I wanted... I was really invested in his story. 
Anyway, that's my book review. I hope you enjoyed this video game and book pairing. There were some books I just didn't make the cut, but I'll be making a Goodreads shelf with the link below that you can check out if you want to see more books about it. That's all I have today. Thank you for watching. If you have any video games that you would like to see book recommendations for, shoot me a comment below or even tweet me. Hope you have a nice day. Bye!